So the tricky part of any alignment is that the weight of the vehicle needs to be uh, on its wheels so you don't get to jack it up and work on anything or take measurements um, and so that caster especially can be tricky uh, but the point is is that when I'm moving the camber bolts or if I'm doing any type of adjustment under here maybe the uh, tie rods or the steering rack for tow in that tire needs to be able to move and with the weight of the vehicle on that wheel of course that makes it all but impossible and that's why you need turntables so I'm going to show you what I've done for my kind of DIY um, turntables so what I'll do is I'll put a, a plastic bag down and then you need to have some used motor oil or gear lube or motor oil some kind of lubricant that's slick and it can be again used if you want so you can keep it free and then what I'm going to do is just sandwich that lube in between two bags and so once the vehicle drives up and I'll do it again on the other side the weight of the vehicle will pivot and turn and slide in and out without any restriction that you're going to get with the uh, the concrete and the rubber so you'll see that I'll go turn the steering wheel and it freely moves Here's a used control arm and what happens is the camber bolts attach the bushings to the frame, front and back. Well you can imagine that then that's the lower uh, control arm and up above we've got an upper control arm with its ball joint. And as we slide this farther out with the front further in, that's exaggerated, but you can see that it moves the ball joint forward. And that's going to make a greater caster because we've got a ball joint here, that caster is increased when we move the lower ball joint forward of the upper ball joint. Um, so that's that's caster. Um, the same bolts will affect camber which will slide the whole control arm from the frame in or out. Well as it does that you can imagine where the wheel is then going to lean and that's camber. So as this wheel leans out or leans in that's the camber setting. So the same two bolts affect both caster and camber, so it gets a little tricky. In the Tacoma, we only need about one degree of caster, so I've, I worry about that last. Uh, I'll set camber first, and basically what I want is this wheel to be zero degrees camber, which means plumb. And so we can put a level and we can see if that wheel is leaning in at the top or leaning out at the top, whatever. So I'll set that first with these cam bolts that will go through here, the frame, and actually slide the whole control arm in or out. So our first measurement is going to end up being, is this level or not? There's a couple different ways to do this, but I had some aluminum angle uh, that was left over from a solar panel installation, and that's a real straight edge. So what I did is I cut it down to the uh, diameter of the wheel that I'm working on. And so what I can do then is I can put this against the metal part of the wheel on the very outside of the rim. And when I'm setting this up, I make sure my wheel weights are out of the way from the 12 and 6 o'clock position when I drive onto the, the plastic bags. But now at this point, everything's out of my way. And I can go ahead and put this straight edge against the lower and the upper edge of the rim. Now I know that that reflects exactly what that rim's doing, in, out, whatever's going on. From here, there's a couple different ways that we can work with stuff. If you have an angle finder that's just an analog angle finder, I can put that up against there and see if that is at zero. And that's not as precise, but it works, okay? And this happens to show that it is, is zero out. So I know that I've got zero degrees camber and this is level. I can also do it with a level. I won't get, you can get a digital level or a cube. Um, but even if you have a little level, you can see that that is uh, in spec. Now the reason I know that this surface that I'm working on is level is because I've done this with the rear axle which is solid. And so I've already checked that, that I'm working on a level surface so what my reading is, is correct. What most of you will find the most handy is to use an angle finder app on your, on your phone. And you can, again, take the same straight edge and based on what the, the reading is, and I'll try to get my hand out of the way, there is 90, but if it happened to be out of spec one way or the other, that's going to show up in digital form off a of phone, on iPhone or smartphone app. So that's another way to see, and you can see it goes right from 89 to 90. So I know that my camber on this wheel is, is set and it's in spec. I'll go check the other side, but it's the same process.
But if I did need to adjust this, if let's say the bottom is too far in, well, of course, then I need to take the lower control arm that's holding everything there and slide it out. If the caster is good, I want to do that equally. If it's not, well, then I'll make a combination of adjustments. But the bolts that are there have this off-center cam, and as I slide it in the frame, there's, there's some holder knobs or rails that will keep that cam in position, and then the bolt actually will slide in and out, and that's all there is to making the adjustments. So now that I've got my camber, um, I'll show you how I do caster, um, but again, it's going to be in spec. The Tacoma doesn't take a lot to, to be within about one degree. Um, and I know that my caster is good, but uh, the same way I do it is to take that level measurement. It'll be just like camber, and it's kind of a cheat to where I will go full lock one direction. I'll turn the steering wheel. Um, And if you look at the wheels, you'll see that those plastic bags allow the wheel to turn now. And full lock is closed on this is probably about 20 degrees, but now I've got a change in camber just slightly if the caster is correct. And so now at full lock right with my straight edge in place, I don't know if you can see that, but it's showing about 89 degrees. Just about 89 maybe 88, 88 and a half or nine. So not too bad. So let's call that 88 and a half or maybe 89. Now what I do, I've got that measurement. So now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it full lock to the left. Okay, so now we've gone full lock left and you can see that my reading is 87 to 88. There's 87, whereas I was, yeah, so let's call it 87 and a half. Well, before we were going 88 and a half, so I'm within one degree. So what happens is you take 88 and a half minus your other reading, 87 and a half, that leaves one degree. That spec for the Tacoma is one degree of caster. So that's let us know with all this wheel in the way, we can't measure or put a straight line from top, upper bottom, or ball joint to the lower ball joint. So because of that being all in the way, the way we cheat to figure out where that caster is moving, how far ahead that bottom uh, ball joint is, is by doing this. So we've just discovered that we've got one degree of positive caster that's going to help me go down the road. While I'm talking about caster, I'll do that on the other side to, to double check it. One on each side, one degree, is spec for the Tacoma. Um, but you can tweak that. Take it for a drive and if it's pulling to one side or the other, let's say that I'm sitting in the vehicle and it's pulling driver's side, I know I've got too much caster on that side. It will pull to the side with too much caster. So dial a degree or a little bit out of that with the cam or the camber bolts, yeah. Then take it for a drive again. And if it goes off, hands off, flies straight, well then you know that's just about right. And there's usually a little more camber in the driver's side than the passenger side because of road crown. And to make up for that drift that road crown will give vehicles, we can kind of tweak that so even when we're on a, a slope like road crown, it'll still go straight. Toe measurements are a simple uh, tape measure. And all, it doesn't matter what the number is, I just want to make sure that the front is the same or slightly less than the back. And I like going off of the tread. Unlike all the string methods and all the headache that goes with that, all I really need to do is, is now see how this wheel is pointed down the road. Is it going straight down the road or slightly towed in? And the reason tow in matters is because you've got to compromise, but by the time you load up the truck, put fuel in it and some cargo and a, a passenger or two, that's going to change and, and usually waiting that suspension will get that back to zero. And I've come to like just a little bit of tow in. So what I'll do is if you've got good tread, there's lots of ways you can do it, but you've got to find a reliable spot on each tire to measure from. So I'll, I've got, um, on these Mickey Thompsons, I, I've got some good tread lugs that are consistent to both sides. So I'm going to look and tell myself outer notch tread is where I'm starting. And so the outer notch tread is where I want to measure to. And you want to do it at the 3 or 9 o'clock. I don't have that exactly lined up, so I'll take this one. And I want to look and see that that's 64 and let's call it three quarters, maybe a nudge past that. But now I've got my, my number. Now I'll go do that on the back of the same wheel and I'll adjust it so it's also 64 and three quarters or maybe 64 and 15 sixteenths. I'll know my toe end's good, tighten it down. And if I have to make adjustments, my plastic bags allow the wheels to slide around and get just dialed in. 
Okay, so here we have it, the same measurement on the rear of the front tires, and there it is, 64 and 15 sixteenths. So I'm exactly 1 16th toe in, which is exactly how I like to run my Tacoma, and so that's my final measurement. And then if you can see in here, this is where we would make adjustments on on the uh, tie rod end from the steering rack. I either thread this in or thread it out, and I try to do it, if my steering wheel's straight, I'll do it equally on both sides. If my steering wheel's crooked, I'll make up for that with just moving one side. But uh, then we get that lock nut jammed in there, our alignment's done.